Good day everyone. Last time we discussed about positive integral exponent, zero exponent, and negative integral exponent. So for today, we will be discussing about rational exponents. When you say rational exponents, these are exponents written in fraction. Whether the exponent is an integral exponent or a rational exponent, you are going to follow the same laws of exponent. Now let us have here example number one. We have 3 raised to 1 half multiplied by 3 raised to 1 third. As you can see here, we have two expressions with the same base with a rational exponent. Following the law of exponent, what are you going to do is, yes, you are just going to copy the base 3 and you are going to add the exponent 1 half and 1 third. That is why we have here 3 raised to 1 half plus 1 third. And if we simplify, we are going to write 1 half and 1 third as similar fraction, wherein the LCD is 6, and then we have 6 divided by 2 times 1, that is 3, and then we have 6 divided by 3 times 1, that is 2. So we have here now 3 raised to 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. We already have similar fraction. So to simplify similar fraction, you are just going to copy the denominator and then you are going to add the numerator. So if we simplify this, yes, we will be having 3 raised to 5 over 6. And this is our answer. Let us proceed with example number 2. We have here quantity x raised to 12, y raised to 12, raised to negative 1 half. To simplify the expression, following the law of exponent, you are going to distribute our exponent. Therefore, we will be having x raised to negative 12 over 2, that is 12 multiplied by negative 1 half. And then we have y raised to negative 12 over 2, again, that is 12 times 1 half. We simply simplify negative 12 over 2. That's why we will be having x raised to negative 6 and y raised to negative 6. And then we have here a negative exponent. We have to simplify it again using the law of exponent. If you have a negative exponent, what are you going to do? Yes, you are just going to get the reciprocal. That is why the answer should be 1 over x raised to 6, y raised to 6. For our example number 3, we have here m raised to 2 over 3, n raised to negative 1 over 4, divided by m raised to 3 over 4, and then n raised to 3 over 4. Following the law of exponent, what do we have to do? Yes, we are going to copy the same base m, and you need to subtract the exponent, and also for n, copy n, and then subtract the exponent. That is why we will be having here, copy the base m, and then subtract 2 over 3 and 3 over 4. That's why we have here 2 over 3 minus 3 over 4. And then copy, we have the common base n, and then you are going to subtract negative 1 over 4 and 3 over 4. We have here negative 1 over 4 minus 3 over 4. We need to express 2 over 3 and 3 over 4 as similar fraction. We do not have a problem here. Negative 1 fourth and 3 fourth are already similar fraction. Therefore, we have now m raised to 3 and 4. The LCD is 12. Again, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. That's why we have here 8. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. Multiplied by 3 is 9. That is why we have here m raised to 8 over 12 minus 9 over 12. And our n, the exponent, are negative 1 over 4 minus 3 over 4. You just copy the denominator and then you have negative 1 minus 3, that is negative 4. Let us now simplify. We will be having m, 8 minus 9 is negative 1. That's why we have here m raised to negative 1 over 12 and negative 4 divided by 4 is also negative 1. Again, we have here a negative exponent. We are just going to get the reciprocal. That is why the final answer will be 1 over m raised to 1 over 12 n. I hope you can still follow. 
Let us consider the next example. We have here quantity 3 over 5 raised to negative 1 half. You have here a negative exponent. To make it positive, we are going to get the reciprocal of our base, which is 3 over 5. That is why we have here 5 over 3 raised to 1 half. What happened here? Kinuha na natin ng reciprocal ng 3 over 5. It will become 5 over 3. That is why the negative 1 half exponent here already becomes positive. And then using the law of exponent, you are going to distribute our exponent both in the numerator and the denominator. So we have here 5 raised to 1 half over 3 raised to 1 half. And this is now our final answer. For our next example, we have here evaluate 25 raised to 1 half. When you are asked to evaluate, meaning to say we are going to get the value. So what is the value of 25 raised to 1 half? To get the, va the value, the first thing that we have to do is to express as equation. So we have here x equals 25 raised to 1 half. The x here will be the value of 25 raised to 1 half. Then we are going to square both sides. So we have x squared equals the quantity 25 raised to 1 half raised to the second power. The reason why we square both sides is for this expression to have an exponent of 1. If we simplify, we have here x squared, 1 half times 2 obviously is equal to 1. And then we do not write 1. That's why we have x squared equals 25. To simplify, x squared equals 25. Alam nyo naman yan. When we discuss quadratic equation, you are just going to get the square root of both sides. That is why the value of x is 5. The only value of x here or 25 raised to 1 half is only 5 and not negative 5. If you have the expression here, x equals 25 raised to 1 half, the only root that we are going to get is the principal root. We only get the principal and the negative root if the original equation is a quadratic equation. But if the equation or the quadratic equation ay nag-result lang into our original equation, then the root that we are going to get is only the principal root. That is why if you have 25 raised to 1 half, the answer is 5 alone, hindi kasama ang negative 5. Another example here, we have quantity negative 8 raised to 1 third. Again, for us to evaluate or get the value, we need to write it as an expression. So we have here x equals quantity negative 8 raised to 1 third. In here, if you are going to look, it is 1 third. If our objective is to make the exponent equal to 1, so instead of squaring, what are we going to do? Yes, instead of squaring, we are going to raise both sides by 3. Again, we do that kasi gagawin nating 1 ang ating exponent dito. At para mangyari yon, we need to raise it by 3. So we will be having here x cubed equals negative 8 raised to 1, which can be written as x cubed equals negative 8. And for us to simplify this one, Yes, we are going to get the cube root of both sides. What is the cube root of negative 8? Because negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 4. Multiplied by negative 2 is negative 8. That is why x is equal to negative 2. So the value of negative 8 raised to 1 third is negative 2. So again, whether the exponent is an integral exponent or rational exponent, you are going to follow the same law of exponent. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.